Hello everyone, welcome back to Project Contest YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss about Smart India Hackathon 2022. So we have already circulated a video about the inauguration of Smart India Hackathon. And now the problem statements are out and uh, they are calling nominations uh, from the colleges through their uh, single point of contact to conduct the internal hackathon and nominate the teams for the Smart India Hackathon. So I will share my screen and explain the overall process and the details regarding the hackathon. <coughs> so this is the Smart India Hackathon 2022 website. You can uh, visit the website by typing www.sih.gov.in in the uh, Google. And uh, if you see that they have given two editions, a software and hardware editions for the uh, school and uh, college students. So to tell about the overview of Smart India Hackathon, as you know that Smart India Hackathon was started in the year 2018 for the software and now it has been evolved into software and hardware. And this year they have also asked nominations from the school students in the SIH junior category from 6th to 12th standard and the SIH senior category in the higher education institutions from bachelor degree to PhD students. So what are the process flow? in SIH 2022 is that so they have launched the uh, portal for registration from the industries and uh, ministries about the, any problem statements and it has been uh, collected and uh, now they are uh, asking uh, the institutions to register for the SPOC single point of contact in order to conduct the internal hackathon and block the problem statements for their colleges and they have to pursue so students who are watching this video don't want to worry about the SPOC so if your college is not aware about the Smart India Hackathon, inform them to nominate one of the faculty members through your principal as the SPOC. This is the important point about uh, the step three. And after that, uh, the college will be conducting an internal hackathon in the step four. And they have to nominate uh, 10 teams uh, uh, to the hackathon, both in the software and the hardware uh, uh, edition. After that, uh, the team leaders should upload the Selected team leaders should upload the uh, proposal for the idea selected in the respective problem statements. And after that, the evaluation of the jury members will be taking place and the result will be announced in the SIH portal. This is the overall process of uh, Smart India Hackathon. So those who have applied the previous editions know about the process because up to 2019, uh, the hackathon is conducted directly. In 2020, they have conducted the internal hackathon and that uh, they go for the uh, national hackathon and last year they didn't launch the smart india hackathon so so those who have been spoc for the previous edition know about the entire process what to do and all the students have to select the problem statement and they have to work into that so what are the themes selected for this year hackathon they have given in the website so smart education disaster management smart automation and fitness and sports heritage and culture medtech biotech and health tech Agriculture, food tech and rural development, smart vehicles, transportation and logistics, robotics and drones, clean and green technology, tourism, renewable and sustainable energy, blockchain and cyber security and any other areas in the time in the time subtitle of miscellaneous. So where you can find the problem statement is that if you uh, select this discover about SIH, you, you will get the SIH. Uh, uh, problem statements where we can uh, uh, find the problem statements listed in the SIH portal. So there are around, uh, I think, uh, five, 559 problem statements are given, 102 hardware and 457 software. So you can select the themes and you can view uh, state government, central government statements or industrial personnel given or the direct student innovation categories. So these are the categories you can select the problem statements and you can check into that so what how you have to check means the organization name which given the problem statement is given here and the problem statement title the category problem statement number and the technology domain or the domain bucket they have given so if you click this problem statement title you get the detailed problem statements of what the expectation uh, from your side have to do they have given here so after the conduction of the internal hackathon the spoc will get a separate tab, uh, login tab, where uh, they have to approve the ideas submitted by the teams. 
these are the entire outline of uh, smart india hackathon uh, 2022 this is one of the biggest hackathon organized by government of india for the uh, innovative minds across uh, india so last date for nomination of spoc and conduction of internal hackathon and submission of ideas as given as 31 march 2022 the date may be extended extended we cannot expect that it will be expect, uh, extended so if you are a student or a college spoc who is using using this video kindly start the entire process because uh, there may be few other documents required to be generated once you completed the internal hackathon you have to uh, call one of the industrial persons for the uh, uh, evaluation of the students in the internal hackathon all the process are there so hope this video will be useful for students who are uh, going to undergo the smart india hackathon 2022 this is one of the biggest opportunity don't miss the opportunity lot of other contests will be happening all through the year but the problem statements given in this hackathon is one of the most wanted problem statements uh, in the, in the uh, uh, entire industries which are doing in the technological area thank you for watching the video subscribe share and comment your doubts in the comment section thank you